That's crazy that it don't just be the uh, phenomenal work and it's a 2018, that's not good. That's what we need. What time is it here? It's 5.31 in the morning. Hello, OnStar. Hello, OnStar. This call may be recorded for quality purposes. Good morning, this is Tamika speaking. Have me answer Tamika, this is Ed from the Cannonball Memorial Run. How are you? I'm doing fabulous. And yourself? I am great. Where are you located today? I'm in North Carolina. North Carolina. We're headed to North Carolina, but right oh, wow. we're going to Raleigh. Where in North Carolina are you? I'm in um, Concord, North Carolina. Concord, North Carolina. Fantastic. Well, we are on I-20 headed east from Birmingham, and I was curious how the traffic's looking into Atlanta. Okay, so let me take a look here. On the right of so me. Thank you very much. You having a good morning so far? <laughs> yeah, I just got started, so it's still early. Are we, are so we, far, so good. Are we your first on-star call? No, you're not the first, no. Oh. You're about the 12th or 13th. 12th or 13th. How many calls an hour do you get? It's a lot, because they come like every 30 seconds, depending on how the call flows. Ah, gotcha. Okay. So, let me see, I don't see any um, bad traffic going through Atlanta. I don't see any road closures or anything like that, so, so far, so good. All right. Now, we're having a little bit of an issue with our uh, with our 2018 Chevrolet Suburban that we rented from uh, Avis. Mm -hmm. The speedometer, I don't think, is working. Do you have the ability oh. there to see how fast we're going? I can see you. It's, the way it's shown on here is like you're going 97 miles. Oh, goodness. That seems crazy. Well, it doesn't say that we're going that fast. Can you check it again? Yeah, let me update your location. So give me one second here. All right. Now we're showing 111 miles. Whoa, 111 miles an hour. That is, yes. That seems crazy. That doesn't sound right. Mm -hmm. I mean, we're not, there's not that many other cars on the road. But I don't know that we're going quite that fast. Can you mind checking it one more time for us? I'll be more than happy to give me one second. Thank you, Tamika. That's going up and showing 114. 114? That seems impossible. How fast? Do you know how fast it'll go? I'm not, it won't show me on my end. Can you, can you tell how many uh, RPMs we have? It doesn't show. It, no, it won't okay. show. Ah, well, so that was about 3,200 RPM, so perhaps we can just use that to extrapolate our speed. Yeah. Right. So you're probably going like less than 80. Probably. Yeah, it's probably less than 80. That was That's what I was like thinking. 80. I was thinking it was probably exactly the speed limit. Yeah. Was probably how fast that was. I the speed limit is... Yeah, because that's, that's crazy that it don't just be the uh, phenomenal work and it's a 2018. That's not good. No, it's not yeah. good. But uh, it also says it needs an oil change. Do you think that's like an emergency issue or do you think we can probably just let it uh, let it slide for a little while? Well, actually, I can tell you, um, I can run a diagnostic and I can tell you if there's um, what the oil like is. Oh, a what diagnostic sounds terrific. Yeah. Yes. I'd be more than happy to. Do you have any aftermarket devices plugged into your vehicle? Yes. Okay, is there any way you can unplug them just for one moment while I run the diagnostic for you? Uh, yeah, that, okay. Beep. Uh, they're they're un unplugged. Okay, so give me one moment while I run the diagnostic and see what comes up. They made a really cool noise when we did it. <laughs> That's what electricity does. Very little sleep. Yeah, because it, it's showing 7.4 um, SML, oil life reading. That's not good at all. 7.4 oil life reading? Yes, it's supposed to be, it's supposed to go, it's supposed to start at 100 and work its way down. Why oh. would they give you a car that doesn't even have a lot of oil in it? All right, well, there we go. So we have 7.4% of the necessary oil that this car requires? No, that's, that's how much you got left. Okay. <laughs> That's probably not good. <laughs> that's even. That's that's right. No, 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 it's not good at all because it's supposed to start from 100 and work its way down. Why would they even provide you a car like this and it don't have no, 
Or, we really got any oil. Or the speedometer. Yeah. Can you check the speedometer one more time for us just before we let you I go, Tamika? Sure. I mean, what happens is they're going to want to second hand. All right. Still 114, that's crazy. I don't understand why what's clearly 70 miles per hour would seem like 114 to the car. Maybe it has something to do with the oil life or like the windshield wipers. Well, we did smash the back on our way through Alabama. Yeah, I wonder if you can tell how fast you're going by how long the lines are that the bugs make when they hit your windshield. But it's still... So 3150 RPM. So that seems like 70 miles per hour to me. Right, right. Oh. But based on the bug streaks, you got to add in the coefficient of the Rain-X. That's right. And the Rain-X is really probably the reason that the lines go all the way up the windshield when the bugs hit us. That's right. We really appreciate it, Tamika. You are so welcome. You all have a wonderful day as well. Be all safe. Right. All right. Have a great day. You too. Bye-bye.